Hello, everyone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the pleb is back in tonight's report. We're going to talk about what happened with Justin Trudeau over the weekend as he went to visit a steel plant in Ontario and got absolutely demolished by a heroic blue collar Canadian. Also tonight, we got to talk about the reaction from the left to this video because they are bloody losing their minds and going full conspiracy mode. You won't want to miss tonight's story. Stick around. Before we start tonight's report, are you guys fed up of the bias of the mainstream media? If the answer is yes, smash the subscribe button because I'm going to tell you the news the mainstream media won't. All right, guys, I am finally back. I'm sorry for the couple of weeks off, but I had to mourn the death of my best friend. Now, this is someone I loved, adored, who was my hero, my mentor, one of the most successful people I knew, and that one person I could call to get me out of trouble no matter what. Max was a dear friend of mine, and I'm going to miss him, and I still miss him, but he would want me to keep making content, and we are going to push through this and give you today's episode. Well, guys, it looks like I came back at the perfect time because Justin Trudeau had himself another mega, mega viral moment in the last couple of days where he went to talk to blue collar Canadians and as expected, it did not go very well. Now, we all know Justin Trudeau is not popular with blue collar Canadians. And in my honest opinion, I think Justin Trudeau hates blue collar Canadians as much as they hate him because who remembers this clip from last April where he referred to working class people as overalled folks. A few years ago, I was in Hamilton in a classic steel plant and I was meeting you know, some of those you know, overalled folks, overalled folks, overalled folks. So that's how Justin Trudeau feels about the working class in this country. Just a bunch of simple overall folks who probably drive pickup trucks. And well, this weekend, Trudeau went to a steel mill to meet with the workers and it really, really did not go according to the plan. Let's watch the clip. Hey, I'm just uh, one of the Prime Minister, Prime Minister, Prime Minister right. again. Uh, again. Uh, well, we, got, we got donuts over here if you want to, to thank you for your hard work. I can we, bring some for my kids here. Okay. Uh, the 25% tariffs we just brought in on Chinese steel is yep. going to help you out. That's going to keep my job, yeah. yeah. What, what about the 400, the 400 what about million? What about the 40% uh, taxes I'm paying? And, and I don't have a doctor? The 400 million. Well said. The fact that we pay so much money in taxes in this country and have one of the most expensive healthcare systems in the world, and we can't even see a doctor just really shows how screwed up this country is. This free health care that used to be the envy of the world is now a complete joke and costing people their lives waiting for diagnoses. Thank you for calling it out, red shirt guy. I think you're only here for another year. We won't see you around probably another year. Well, that's, that's what <laughs> Most of you guys would probably be like telling Trudeau off, telling him to F off, not as polite. But this guy is keeping his cool in front of Justin Trudeau and just completely embarrassing him by, <laughs> by not even being mean. This is a master class. Awesome. I think you're only here for another year. We won't see you around probably another year. Well, that's, that's, what the yeah. are for. that's right. That's right. And I, I look forward to everyone exercising the right to vote. Yep. And the basic choice. We're going to invest in you and your jobs. I don't, I don't believe you for a second. <laughs> I don't believe you for this guy. This guy is a Canadian hero. This man speaks for all of us. This guy's a legend. Wow. I don't, I don't believe you for a second. Uh, dental care? Do you know anyone who got dental care? Yeah, I pay for it myself. Okay. We're like three years behind. Is a job in coverage? Yeah, uh, four, but we four got people seniors. in my family. We've got Every time we go for a dental visit, mm -hmm. it's cost me about $50 in my pocket per mm -hmm. person. Okay. Why? I have a good job. You're not really doing anything for us, Justin. Well, actually, we, we, we just invested so half a million people who haven't been to the dentist. Yeah. Got to go to the dentist over the past few Probably months. Probably like my neighbor that doesn't go to work because she's lazy. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. That's exactly what we're doing. We're just funding the bums. 
We're funding people who don't want to work. And, and working class people really don't like communism because they work hard. They get their hands dirty. They earn their money and they pay all the taxes. I completely get this guy. You know what? Go to work, she the same Most way Canadians try to stick up for each other. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're going to keep doing. Yeah. Good yeah. luck and prepare for oh, the No, I'm good. Thank you. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, he he just snubbed Justin Trudeau for shaking. Trudeau tried to shake his hand and he snubbed him. What? Because she's lazy. Well, you she know what? doesn't go to work. She lives the same Most way. Most Canadians fighting. try to stick up for each other. And that's what we're going to keep doing. Yeah. Good yeah. luck and prepare you for the answer. Oh, no, I'm good. Thank no, I'm good. Right. Thank you. All right. The other guys got, they got the donuts. Excellent. <laughs> Trudeau gets completely embarrassed there. Completely embarrassed. This red shirt guy right here completely embarrasses Trudeau. Completely destroys him. And the reason this is so good is because he kept his cool here. But look at this. Look at this, Trudeau. Hey, we got the donuts. Look, this is the face of a defeated man. Have a good day, sir. Right. Right, the other guys got, they got the donuts. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> they got the donuts. Excellent. Oh, man. This is uh, <laughs> this right here. Trudeau. Look at him. Look at that fake smirk and fake smile right here. Trying to keep it cool. But this guy right here just got absolutely crushed. I mean, no amount of acting will be able to hide the real pain inside Trudeau right now. Absolutely well done to red shirt guy and him refusing to shake Trudeau's hand was truly the cherry on top. And after this absolutely legendary takedown by red shirt guy, a real Canadian hero, well, the left are bloody losing their minds over this, going from full conspiracy theories to trying to dox the guy for having a civil exchange with Trudeau. Ah, oh, all right, so Woke Henry over here comes out with this. I worked on a few factory floors. There's always someone like this. Goes for a smoke break 15 times per shift. Complains about managers. Makes crash jokes. Often racist or sexist. Barely works. Then they bitch that the government is why they're not successful. Hashtag Maple MAGA. Nice. So they're accusing this guy of being racist because... <laughs> <laughs> they're losing it folks they're losing it they have nothing you know why they're losing it folks let me tell you the reason they're losing their minds is because this guy kept his cool he didn't flinch he didn't start swearing at trudeau he wasn't wearing a, you know an f trudeau hat he was just a calm cool and collected guy unlike the left and they don't know how to react to this so they're going to paint him with all kind of labels because this guy made Trudeau look like a clown. And the funny thing is, is now these leftists are going full conspiracy mode, trying to tie this to Jeff Bollingall, the owner of Canada Proud. And the conspiracy theories are probably what's the funniest about this, as Crazy Canuck writes, appropriate name, the irate employee in the video refusing a donut from Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and trash talking him as James Oakley, leader of mobilized media, storytellers who try to influence public, uh, public opinion and rally change. Connect the dots, folks. He was a plant. Okay. Uh, this po post got community noted because the guy on the left is Jeff Bollingall, the owner of Canada Proud. That is not at all a guy named James Oakley. And these leftists keep doubling down on the conspiracy theory, saying that this, th this steel worker turned out to be James Oakley with mobilized media, started by Jeff B Ballingall, connected to the CPC. A plant, a shit disturber, no credibility. Okay. And they keep going with this story, repeated all over the left, saying the guy in the video is James Oakley, the creative lead of mobile media. The company started by white right-wing Ontario Proud founder, Jeff Bollingall. But this is not James Oakley whatsoever. I'll show you what James Oakley looks like. I was able to dig this up on LinkedIn from Jeff Bollingall's account. 
saying, welcome to the team, James Oakley, digital media manager. So they're accusing the guy in the video of Trudeau of being James Oakley. Look at this, okay? Does this look like James Oakley? Seriously? Do these people look like the same person? Not at all. And this guy, Hungry Trucker, has an even crazier conspiracy th theory, thinking that it's Jeff Ballingall who is the steel worker. This is Jeff Ballingall's picture right here. And that's the steel worker. They don't even look like each other. These leftists are bloody losing their minds, folks. They're losing. Now, the reason the left are losing their minds is because this steel worker kept his cool. He didn't swear at Trudeau. He didn't make himself look bad. They don't know how to react to this. They're used to the F Trudeau flags and the vulgarity. But this guy's a top G. He kept it cool. He kept it calm. He did not flinch because the usual Trudeau exchanges on the street go a little something like this. Shout out to Zoltan for putting this beauty together. Let's enjoy. Why does Trudeau look like he has a little bit of Down syndrome right here on this freeze frame? <laughs> All right, let's watch. Criminal. Uh, we will continue to work with uh, people at the provinces. Wow. That's not nice. Dirty cockroach! Dirty cockroach! Dirty wow. cockroach! I remember that one. There he is, dirty cockroach. He's right in there. Look at him, dirty cockroach. Wow, 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 wow. Dirty cockroach! Do you know how long you've held up? People picking up bags. I've been waiting to line down the road for 30 minutes while you've been here soaking up the race. Thank you. You know? Excuse me. Excuse me. You're not getting my boy. This is a free country. That was insane. Hey there, how you doing? shaking your hand, bro. You're a fucking piece of shit. Why is that, sir? You fucked up the entire country. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you and your globalist counterparts, your scumbag. You're an absolute scumbag. Never saw that clip. Wow. It's not my challenge. I'm a volunteer trying okay. to help someone save fair. their home. Sure, sir, sir, we've been filling sandbags as well. You're a criminal. Yeah. Okay, and I just and you know why you're and here? I'm, yes, while I'm you're here, here nobody sorry. can pick up. I am here while you're research. here, no one can pick I up don't know sand. That, sir. I'm sorry. Well, sir. why don't you make yourself aware? Unfortunately, for safety reasons, this event will no longer be taking place here today. <laughs> Quite the popular guy. <laughs> yes, I remember this one. Justin, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> So yes, those are the usual exchanges that Trudeau gets on the streets with everyday Canadians. So I just want to give props to the red shirt guy for keeping it cool, making himself look good, making conservatives look good, and most importantly, making Trudeau look stupid. All right, guys, we're getting close to wrapping it up. So tell me in the comments down below, what did you guys think of that exchange with Trudeau and the red shirt guy steel worker? Was that absolutely awesome? Also, tell me in the comments down below, what would you say to Trudeau if he ever actually went up to you and you were able to have a conversation with him? I look forward to reading all the comments. If you guys enjoyed my report today and you want to support me, you guys already know how to do it. Like, share, comment, watch are the most important things. Or you could buy a membership for five Canadian dollars. 
My name is The Pleb. I hope everyone's having an amazing Labor Day. And here is the future Prime Minister of Canada with a Labor Day message to the hardworking people of this beautiful country. Have a good night. A country is built by the people who rise when it is still dark. The servers and soldiers, the farmers and factory hands, the nurses and night shift workers, often called ordinary people, but they are extraordinary. They carry the government on their backs with little reward. You now pay more to bring home less. That is if you can afford a home at all. Many live in fear of crime and chaos, but there is a new dawn rising where hard work is rewarded, where there's affordable food and a home in a safe neighborhood, where everyone gets a fair shot at a good life, where common sense is common, and where, after the night, no matter how long or dark, comes morning. Let's bring it home.